Having seen the reality of drought in Maasai lands, I travelled to a different part of Kenya to see another aspect of Practical Action's work. Here, they're tackling climate change by helping people develop sustainable, non-polluting forms of energy. This is a micro-hydro scheme I visited in the Mount Kenya region. 80% of people in sub-Saharan Africa do not have electricity, and decentralized renewable options are often the most appropriate way to power remote rural communities. I spoke to Practical Action's project officer Daniel and community leader Joffrey, who explained how the microhydro system works. So, Daniel, the dam here and this channel were designed by ITDG, by Practical Action, is that right? In collaboration with the Minister of Energy. Energy. And who actually built it? Who did the hard work of building it? The community. Right. The artisans. Yes. And the local impact. How did you do it? Did you build one side first? Uh, How did you keep it dry when you were building it? The community came here with the bags. Yes. They filled the soil. Yeah. They broke the river. Wow. wow. <laughs> so, what's the rate of flow through here, roughly? The rate of flow is uh, about 200 liters of water per second. 200 liters a second? Yes. So you'd fill in a, b a bath in about two or three seconds then? It's, it's very okay. quick. Okay. Now, you've got a little sluice here. Yes. What's that for? Now, this sluice is for discharging the excess water back into the river. Right. Because we don't need more than 200 liters of water per second. Okay, okay, so if it comes too fast, yes. that chucks away the rest. And basically the whole point of this channel is to take water down to the turbine exactly. and generate the electricity. Yes. Okay, well, let's go and see what happens at the other end. The river was dammed at the top of Kabiri Falls, and a small fraction of the water diverted into a side channel at 200 litres per second. The water then travels 250 metres along the riverbank to a pipe that drops 12 and a half meters down to the powerhouse. This is the powerhouse. The water's coming down from that channel through this pipe here. It's 30 centimeters in diameter, and it's traveling at huge velocity because it's come 12 meters down the cliff. And it's spinning the turbine in here, making it spin around very fast, which is driving this belt and that's running the generator in here, which is generating 14 kilowatts of power. That's about enough for 14 households in the West, or maybe 100 here. It's an enormous amount of power. And the great thing is they're just borrowing the energy from the river, borrowing that water for about five minutes and putting it back into the river again. Wonderful, renewable energy. This microhydro project has been running now for six years. Indeed, the generator has been running continuously for four years, apart from routine maintenance. And it's absolutely brilliant. The electricity comes up here, and there's a series of little workshops where they've got hairdressing saloons and welding shops and people watching football on the video and so on and so forth. Wonderful, varied use of electricity. People come in from all around to have their batteries and mobile phones charged, and of course, they get charged money for it, and that helps to pay for the maintenance of the, of the whole system. It has transformed the lives of the community because people don't have to go seven kilometers into town to get their batteries charged. So they've got more time here to do useful other things and set up other micro projects. So tell me, what does she use electricity for? Uh, she uses the, the electricity for charging the battery and uh, the small cell phones and most of the work she does is to do the hair salon for the women who come around. So, has it changed the community? They have saved their life because they used to go very far for services and they even used to pay for transport to go and get those services. Yes. But now they get the services here and just within the area 
and they are relaxed. Does it run all the time or does it break down sometimes? Uh, it runs all the time because nowadays they are using it for 24 hours. Really? Night, yes. 24 hours. And do you need help from outside or are you running it all yourselves? Uh, they are now maintaining and learning it from within. They don't get help from Excellent. outside. Excellent. Excellent. Yes. So this is entirely renewable energy. It makes no contribution at all to climate change. And the system itself was designed by practical action. On my trip to Kenya, I saw the reality of climate change, how it is impacting first and worst on the world's poorest people. In Maasai land, I saw how practical action is helping people to cope with the longer droughts. I also saw the work they're doing to help power poor communities using renewable energy. In the face of climate change, practical action is helping transform people's lives for the better.